Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guest for this segment is Sarah Hernandez, and we're talking about June and matte photography. Sarah, welcome to the show. Yeah. I have no idea what June and matte photography <laughs> I know what photography is. What's June and matte? Um, so June and Matt, I named my business. That's my son, Matthew. Okay. Um, he is 10. Uh -huh. um, and then the next photo, that is my daughter, Juniper. Uh -huh. um, so I bought my first digital camera um, eight years ago now, nine years ago, mm -hmm. uh, when Matthew was, you know, two or three, and I wanted to take better pictures of him, and, you know, I mean, like cell phone cameras now, you yeah, know, yeah. now I can take a gorgeous uh -huh. selfie on my iPhone XR, but, yeah. you know, eight years ago, that was, technology was, yeah, it was a little not as not as nice. Yeah. Um, okay, so, so yeah. you started taking pictures mm -hmm. of your kids. You got real impressed with the pictures mm -hmm. you took, decided to do something with yes, it, right? Yes, yes. Is that the basic story? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Okay, where did, we, where did we go from there? Um, so for the first year, um, I kind of stuck with um, doing a little bit of everything to okay. kind of see what I really felt like. Um, so now I do personal brand photography, so that's one of my okay. stop, personal stop, stop, brands. Stop, yes, stop, 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 stop. Explain to our audience, mm -hmm. what is personal brand, okay. brand photography? So personal brand photography, um, so if you are, especially an online entrepreneur nowadays, okay. um, you have to have some sort of brand. Um, if you have a business brand, mm -hmm. it's a little... A little more like say Apple. So mm -hmm. you know, I love Apple. I love all of Apple to Apple's technology. Right. I will buy Apple all day long. Mm -hmm. But I can't connect to Apple the way I can connect to say you. Right. If I were to go to your Facebook and see, oh, this is Steve. This is what he does on a mm -hmm. daily basis. This is how he works. This is how he operates. So, we're, when we're talking about personal, we're mm -hmm. actually talking about personal branding. Yes. Yes. Okay. So as it's a, as an online entrepreneur mm -hmm. or just an online. You know, mm -hmm. or even brick and mortar entrepreneurs okay. too. Um, so my my specific niche that I really like marketing to in branding yeah. is more along the health and fitness, um, like body positivity, those types of okay. entrepreneurs. Yeah. Um, and so we do how we call it is storytelling. So we tell so like this is a, a, a brand client, but part okay. of her story is her family. So right. you know her family is big. Uh, so. Of we do an actual family session within the branding session. Okay. So we do, um, you know, your your stereotypical like coffee and a laptop that you mm -hmm. see that's real pretty okay. yeah. um, to show you working. And then you know you kind of go through and see what your stories are. So those are two. They're therapists okay. who work together. So you know part of theirs is they do live shows together. So part of their story is coming together and working together. All right. Mm -hmm. And and so that you do that and they hang them on the walls in their office and they're good to go, right? They, I do sell yeah. prints for those as well, but most of the time it is digital um, and it's formatted. So say you do Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So I'll actually format them to those separate websites because they all have different requirements. That's that social media mm -hmm. stuff? Yes, yes. I have to hire my 10-year-old <laughs> grandson to get me through that. I'm not, yeah. Yep. No, but y you really can't no. have an online business without having an online presence yep. in those in those various forms. Yes, you really do. And you do. provide that. Yes, I do. Got a question for you. Yes. Do you provide possibly uh, putting together like the the formatting for the the Facebook page or the Instagram page or whatever, or do you just provide the images and then leave it up to my ten year old grandson to, <laughs> to do it? So I I do. Um, it depends how um, I do have it as an add on to actually help with you know um, social media management or building your website things along those lines. Um, however, just as a base, I do kind of give you like I can give you a grid to say like here this is how if you put your photos in this order it'll work this way um, to kind of give you like an idea. Idea well, that of would kind of help me out it. a lot mm -hmm. if I'm looking to, you know, create a good, because yeah. having that good visual, you know, and it's been a while, and the gray <laughs> cells are what they are, but, you know, I, if I reach back, I, I can remember possibly that something about when someone sees the your page, mm -hmm. they you've got like seven just seconds. A, that's it. Okay. You have seven seconds, seconds to make a good first impression. And if that, mm -hmm. they're gone. Yep. If they if they don't feel connected to you within those first seven seconds, you lost them. You lost them. You don't have the and no like and trust. You're confident enough in your product that that you can help me yes. own that seven seconds. Absolutely. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. And uh, 
And you were telling me you, you also, you're teaching kids in school? Yes. Yeah. Well, um, well, so that's I... that's kind of a, a yeah. fun side thing. Well, tell me about it. So I started um, last year helping out with the yearbook students at okay. my son's school. Um, and it was just like when I saw, like when they got it, when mm -hmm. it clicked, that like, holy cow, like yeah. that's awesome. And like seeing the difference, it was... It was really eye-opening, mm -hmm. um, you know, and so I, I teach, uh, uh, right now I'm doing like more camps, so mm -hmm. it's like a week long, so the next one is July 22nd to 26th. Okay, um, well, what's mm -hmm. the age group we're looking at? Um, 7 to 14. 7 to mm -hmm. 14? Yeah. Okay, and, and you teach them, what's the basic things that you teach? So them? I teach um, the history of photography okay. is kind of the first day, and then from there we go into how to properly compose an image, um, how to properly expose an image, so proper mm -hmm. exposure of an image consists of what's called the exposure triangle your ISO your um, aperture and your shutter speed okay. so those and you explain three those. Mm -hmm. and I because explain all of those Greek yes to me, it's, right? it's no, total okay. foreign language okay. yeah but, um, mm -hmm. and they get it yes yes so I, I gotta ask what do you do are you creating a, an army of <laughs> of helpers yes in your small <laughs> minion photographers that is what I'm going well, no, for that's, no, that's, you know, that's really great yes. because the 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 availability mm -hmm. for kids nowadays mm -hmm. to become creatively involved with their life, their environment, at a level that utilizes the imagination. Mm -hmm. They've lost a lot of it with the digital, you know, everybody's doing this. There's yeah. no imagination there. There's yeah. no, but, you know, if you can teach them to look out beyond mm -hmm. that and see something and see it in a way that they're in the back of their mind, they're creating mm -hmm. this. Ooh, I'm well, and that's, that's awesome. and that's one of my favorite things too because it, I mean, I one one thing that I hear a lot is your camera takes good pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, my <laughs> camera is very expensive yeah. and it has very nice specs to it. Mm -hmm. But it's not the camera taking the pictures. So, you know, you can sit there, everybody and their mom can go get a digital, you know, a high, you know, high end DSLR. Yep. But if you don't know how to adjust your settings, if you don't know, if you can't sit here and look and see, okay, well, if I just move my subject. Wait a second. All this, I have to do is put it on image. auto. Just auto, and it's, that's right, and it's gone, right? Yeah, you know, you know. Uh, we'll, no, we'll get to yeah, auto another okay, day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Listen, sir, I want to thank yes. you for, for being with us, mm -hmm. sharing that. Uh, if you happen to be a person of some business acumen and you're thinking, or maybe you do have an online presence, having a, a proper branding is, 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 as Sarah said, it's incredible. And she can take care of it for you. Um, do you do portraits or anything like that also? Um, I do still do a little yeah. bit. Um, I kind of stay more to like the high school seniors. Yeah. I love my high school seniors. They're so much fun. Um, and some family too. But I, I kind of I kind of stick more with the branding. Yeah. Um, but I do I do a lot still less like. complicated. Yes, yes. Yeah, that, I, I get that. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, thanks for yes, being with us. Thank you. Why don't you come back and, and bring some of your creative Absolutely. And we'll talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay? I have some fun uh, passion projects coming up, so I'll have to come back with those. Sounds great. All right. Photography. It, it's a, not all passe in today's world, but you got to learn and know how to do it in such a way that you're creating something that's really worth putting up on your computer screen <laughs> or maybe even hanging on your wall. And I'll see you when we come back.